Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Welcome to today's message from Harvest Chapel International. We believe the message will be a blessing to you as you imbibe God's truth. God bless you. Tonight, I want you to come alive. Hallelujah. I said tonight, I want you to come alive. It shouldn't be the normal Sami you know. But if you can see Jesus standing in front of you and you obey anything he asks you to do, deliverance is coming to you tonight. Do it again to the King of Kings and the Lords of Lords. Tonight you will not go back the same. I said tonight you are not living here in the same it is too late for you to go back the same this evening all i need from you is just cope with the holy spirit let your spirit come alive if the one sitting next to you will be hindrance to your breakthrough it is better you change your seat because if you look at what you are going through in life and if this is the time for the lord to cause deliverance and you are shy to be active because of the one sitting next to you i can guarantee you you'll go back with the problems so if the one sitting next to you will be hindrance change your seat now hallelujah well tonight something good will happen to us before we enter into the realms of the spirit and work out some prophetic for others i want the church to help me i always say that this is my world cup in fact world cup is understatement hallelujah and when the lord shows you mercy and grace locates you it has nothing to do with you but the greatest assignment is lord for this grace which has located me what do you have me do to your people and that is my assignment tonight the lord said when you go minister like never before as a matter of fact this is not sammy i said as a matter of fact this is not sammy church I joined Harvest in 2004 and by the grace of God, Bishop has been a blessing in my life one way or the other. You will clap. Today is Friday. The Holy Spirit will work. Help me acknowledge Daddy and say a big thank you for this opportunity. Clap your hands for Reverend Fritz Gerald Odonko. Clap your hands for him. Do it better to him this evening. The little I know about Bishop is that he doesn't discriminate. I was listening to one interview he granted concerning the love revolution. And Bishop made a statement. He said, if the body of Christ will understand that in heaven, there is no denomination for pastors to release their members to come for such an atmosphere, then it means that we are fulfilling the mandate of the church or the gospel. After I listened to that interview, the spirit of the Lord said, this is a man you shouldn't depart from. Amen. Why? Because... Clap in India, you clap, Sibeth. No, let's work it out. Why? Because by the grace of God, my I came with evangelist. If I'm a footballer, I will say he's like my manager. By the grace of God, we've ministered almost 10, 9 to 10 regions with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I always tell him that I'm just waiting for the day 
that bishop will say that Sammy, maybe I was expecting all night or opening prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it tells me that the spirit of the Lord dwells in him. Papa, the prophetic there, you are flowing in it. Because this morning, to confirm something, this morning I received a call from the media team that what is the message of my title? So that they prepare the CDs. And I told them that total restoration. And when Bishop came, he quoted Joel chapter 2, verse 22 downwards. Bishop is already a prophet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't mind me, I'm waiting for a signal. The Lord promoted me recently with other two angels. So I'm waiting for a signal. If they come, we'll kick off. So don't feel that we are wasting time. Ah, if Papa say go ahead. <laughs> Listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church. Let's join hands and do it better for Mama Thelma Odonko once again. Then Reverend Titi, I remember when I came back from my 40 days dry fasting and prayers around March, April. So for people thought that I was sick. I sent me a phone. 40 days, honey and water. And Reverend Man called me to the office. He said, Sammy, this grace upon your life, I want to mentor you. Whatever you need. Also for that, I needed something, but I said, no, let me wait at the right time. Also for tonight. <laughs> he said, whatever you need to grow this gift, I am willing and I am ready to support you. <laughs> Let's clap for Reverend Imatitilate. And finally, all the pastors here, all of you are my fathers. No matter where I get to in life, all of you are still my fathers. I acknowledge every man of God in the house. Do it better for the man of God in the house. My manager has been introduced already but let's do it better for my manager evangelist richard Corte, pop of you can you wave onto us let's see you my colleague in the office five six years ago he is a catholic when the call came he said sammy i am a catholic you have the charismatic background let's do this together Every morning, Saturday morning, at Chimota Forest, your boom, sir, your boom. Sami evangelism, sir, sir, sir. At a point in time, I'm like, Charlie, this guy, what's up? But if you can have friends like that, whose interest is not to go to the club with you? If you can have friends like that, whose interest is not to drink the alcohol with you? If you can have friends, whose interest is not to do threesome with the same girls in the same room with you? But to see you grow spiritually, nothing will let me disconnect from him. And as a matter of fact, 90% of the things I use for my spiritual growth, he gives me the money without even thinking. My graduation day, Harvest School of Ministry, don't think I'm wasting your time, you'll be blessed. One of the angels is here. If you are Joel, come to me. Kakanate, the Lord said we should pray for you. Joel. In the house, the Lord said we should pray for you and cancel an accident. We will start praying, then you will come. Joel, I'm seeing the date of birth on the 16th of July, 1981. Relax, we'll work it out. So, so for all I want to say is thank you. I don't take this opportunity for granted. 
I'm very grateful. And daddy, I've told Mama Thelma, but this is open and I'm repeating the same words again. At any point in time, if you notice I'm backsliding, rebuke me. At a point in time, you will feel that way through, but it is not about that. Any past, any time, you can rebuke me any time. I am open to rebuke because the gift is to the body of Christ. And it is only humility which will take me to where I want to get to. So please, any time, rebuke me. Thank you. Now lift up your hands with me. Let's work. Wine crown not in Oh, Biarani, oh, can I get some buckets in the house? Lift up your voice. Why cry not to say, oh, oh, Biarani, oh, oh, Missy, why cry not to say, oh, Biarani, oh, oh, hey, baby, why, oh. Oh, Missy, why cry? Not to say, oh, 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 why cry? Not to say, oh, 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 Missy, why cry? Not to say, oh, 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 up your voice and sing to the Lord tonight. Hallowed be your name. Oh, Hallowed be your name. Lord and Majesty. Oh, divine authority. Hallowed be, hallowed be your name. Oh, let's sing for the last time. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name.
all afresh on me Spirit of the living God Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I clap my hands and I pray. As I clap my hands and I pray. Any hindrance to my breakthrough tonight. Breakthrough. Catch fire. Catch fire. You are not hearing me. I say in the name of Jesus. No, I want you to come alive. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I clap my hands and I pray any hindrance to my breakthrough tonight catch fire lift up your voice in prayer that anything which will be hindrance to your breakthrough will be released for you open your mouth and pray lima shapandalapa raka padapa shadada liba sudapaya pandalaposha lift up your voice let me hear you pray that any hindrance to your breakthrough tonight let it catch fire lift up your voice in prayer lima shapaha labra tapalaba rasha de kapandala bosha ipatini vikianda ale pasha patisha lebro tabosha ta apalika ta iyama tabaha tusha ipayala la bosha makuni vikapa lift up your voice in prayer ah payala la la besha ipatani vikianda ah payopa ilabra tapala bayapa Ima shapa da ba ya pa, a pa di ka pa. Ila bran chala la la posha, rama ka pa da le me ka pa. Ima shapa da ba, a pa ya la posha. Ima si pa da, ila bran chala posha ba. Aya pa da ba, aya pa pa pa. Ima shala da ba ya pa, ra cha chala la la ba. In the name of Jesus. You are praying your second prayer this evening. Lord, may my heavens be open. Amen. You are praying and you are saying, Lord, let my heavens be open tonight. Amen. The vessel of the Lord is always ready to be moved by the Spirit. Amen. But if your heavens are closed, He will not see anything about you. And that makes most people go back home frustrated. Lord, upon all my prayers, nothing is happening to me. Minus tonight. Amen. I said minus tonight. Amen. You will never go the same way you came. Amen. I declare over your life. Amen. May any demonic orchestration against your life Amen. catch the Holy Ghost fire tonight. Amen. You are lifting up your voice finally and you are praying that Lord let my heavens be open. Lift up your voice in prayer. The Lord let my heavens be open tonight. multitude not to prove anything on my own but to declare the mind of you Jesus Christ tonight I pray that let the broken heart be restored Lord tonight I pray that let he who has no hope be restored 
I plead the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ over the corners of this room. Now you agents of the devil listen to me. You have no right in this room. Everybody here is being marked with the blood of Jesus. We command you to leave our presence now. Father, tonight if there's anything I'm asking for, Lord, that we receive continuous miracles. Lord, tonight if there's anything I'm asking for, Father, it is that you will give us testimonies. I humble myself before your throne. And I pray that let your spirit fill me. Let your ministering angels be released. Give me clarity in speech. Give me accuracy in utterance. May I declare your mind alone to your people. The Lord, we will live here blessed. And say that this is your doing. And it is marvelous in our sight. Thank you, Father, for hearing me. In Jesus' name I pray. Shout a living amen. Clap your hands and take your seat. Why is Kaka not there? Is Kaka in the house? Daddy, we have to pray for Kakra. As I was praying yesterday night, an angel of the Lord came to me. And I saw you in a closet kneeling and you were praying. You've held your bed. In pa- bed. And you were praying and all you were asking the Lord is, Lord, concerning my ministry, what is the next step? And the Lord made me come here with my mantle that I should lay it on you. I should let Bishop pray and anoint you. In the space of three months, you will see his hands in your life in the next level. So please, you kneel here, let Stretch out your hands towards it. hallelujah for the next few minutes i just want to share a word with you we'll stand on it and pray the spirit of the lord is here the atmosphere is charged the angels are here we will tell the mind of god to the people of god then if there's anything else we do if you agree with me say amen if you agree with me say amen ezekiel chapter 37 talking about total restoration Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 to 11 if time permits brother Satri will do the reading for me tonight please let's hear the word of the Lord Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 to 11 shall we hear the word of the Lord the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones verse 2 Then he caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, 
son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Again he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 5, that says the Lord God to these bones, shall I cause, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath and breathe on these slain, that they may live. 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them. And they lived, and stood upon their feet, and a signally great army. Amen. Breath. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Lord gave me the revelation of this message, also for you will best understand it if I demonstrate it. Can I get four people, quickly? Four people. Anybody who comes, you have a prophetic word with me. Four 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 quick four anybody one two three four so face the audience let's face the congregation so ezekiel was trying to explain the revelation he had concerning the dry bones now the scenario in that scripture have to do with these four people standing here now this is the lord hey no you, you have to come here you are... this is the dry bones <laughs> follow me this is the dry bones this is ezekiel this is the spirit of the lord or say the lord then this guy is the devil so from here we have the dry bones which signifies your current situation or the things around you so please lie down for me you'll be blessed this is the dry bones and this is you everything around you is dead there's no hope if it is academics you are not seeing results if it is business you are not prospering money comes into your hands but you can't prove of it if it is relationship you are like me you are bamsels huh? as a matter of fact nothing seems to be working that is your current situation and you are the dry bones this is the individual this represents you so around you is the dry bones and this is the lord He sees and he operates in the spirit realms. And this is Satan or the devil who doesn't want you to prosper. So this guy has managed to keep you under bondage. Follow me and you will understand where we are getting to. As much as this guy tries to rise up, the thing seems not to be working. Because there is a help upper spiritual entity who is working against her progress this is the lord please stand here for me she can only speak the lord is not she he can only speak to you to act on your situation this guy's assignment is to not let your situation rise up so the lord pick this person look around you everything is dry and the lord is asking you can this dry situation come back alive and she is saying to the lord that lord thou alone know it what it means is that lord i am humanity and within the conference of humanity i am being limited with times and seasons but you lord you operate in divinity in divinity you are not bound by times or season 
So Lord, concerning my situation, thou alone knowest. Because if you left with me alone, I can say that these bones will not come back alive because dry bones can never come back alive. Follow me, we are on a journey. So the Lord asked, and she said, Father, so far as I am human, thou alone know it. So you study the account when you read Genesis chapter, sorry, John chapter 6. John chapter 5, verse 6 downwards. Talking about the man who sat at the pool of Bethsaida. When Jesus Christ met the man, Jesus asked the man, do you want to be made whole? And the man started talking plenty. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said, do you want to be made well? The next verse is what? Next verse. Hey, I'm standing here. I'm part of you. I beg. The man said, I have been sitting here for 38 years. That is not what the Lord wants to hear. Anytime the Lord asks you a question concerning what you are going through, he already knows the answer. So the Lord is asking that you will make reference back to him. Why should a man be born blind for so many years? Then the disciples will ask Jesus, why is this man born blind? And Jesus Christ is saying to them that just for the glory of the Lord to be seen, So when she threw back the question to the Lord, the Lord, thou alone knoweth. The Lord said to her, if you are telling me that I alone know it, then take this authority. He said what? Prophesy to these dry bones. It didn't end with just prophecy. When you follow the scripture carefully, he said prophesy and say. Most of Christians, we are in a rush to just prophesy. No. What is the Lord asking you to say? So Mary, in John chapter 2, told the people at the wedding reception that whatever he tells you to do, do it. Nothing bows to the command and the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So when you read Matthew chapter 8, verses 8, there is this another commander or the, the centurion man, the man, the centurion man, the army commander, when his servant was sick and he came in contact with Jesus Christ, Jesus requested that, let me go with you, that I will go and heal your servant. But the man said to Jesus that you don't need to go with me. Just speak the word. Just what? Speak the word. And scripture said, as Jesus spoke the word, a servant ran to him and said that your servant is made whole. So Jesus, the Lord asked her, prophesy to these dry bones and what? Say, follow me. And say. So she prophesied according to the instructions being given. When she prophesied, scripture said, and this dry bone came back, not alive. But this bone resurrected. So when you read the eight, so I prophesied as I was commanded. Indeed, as I look, yeah, indeed, as I look, the sinew and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over. But what? There was oh. no breath in them. I mean, the spirit, too. I now understand why some men of God insult the people like that. Too. But there was no breath in what? Them. In them. So now she has prophesied, rise up. And turn back because you don't have life. You are just body on what? Dry bones. So flesh has come to the dry bones, but there is no what? Life. And that is what most of us are. Also, for when we are going through certain things and we start praying, and the Lord seems to answer us, we forget prayer. And we start enjoying the moment. As a matter of fact, I was saying the other time that no relationship guarantees marriage. So the fact that you said I love you and the lady responded I love you too doesn't mean that it is automatic. 
So you pray that, Lord, I need a work. And the Lord gave you a job. Now, your boss is telling you that for you to sustain this work, you should be sleeping with me continuous. And you forget that there's a Lord you pray to who gave you the work. You push him aside. And you are now sleeping with your boss to maintain that position. There's no life in it. Hallelujah. If bishop say preach, I'll preach. There's no life in it. She prophesied. She saw the dry bones resurrected. But scripture said there is no breath. There was no life in it. This guy's assignment is to make sure that this woman never enjoys total transformation. Total restoration. So yes, my grades in school, the highest is D. But when I started praying and studying, I came to C. Then you stop studying because now you are King Kong. You are living in a room with your siblings, six, seven, eight, and you pray the Lord gave you single room self-contained. Now you feel that you are the Ogboro. There is no, ah, Bishop, thank you. There is no life in it. Look at the one sitting next to you and say, there is no life in it. Life. It is just a bone which has received flesh. Forgetting that if you refuse to bring back life to that situation, it will go back again. So sleeping with the man continuously is not the solution. Because the Lord gave it to you. Whatever made the Lord give it to you, the Lord has means and ways to sustain you there. Now, the verse 9, it says that, and he said to me, prophesy to the, oh, to the give, me King James. Can you, give me King James Version. He said, prophesy, yes, the word I want to hear is the wind. When it came to life, he said, prophesy to the wind, not the situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Not the situation, but to the wind. Why? Because in life, we are governed by the four elements which rules the world. And everything in life obeys the command of these four elements. Nobody here can tell me that you don't breathe air. And air is one of the elements. Nobody here can tell me that you don't walk on earth. Earth is one of the elements. Nobody here can tell me that you don't eat food cooked with fire. And fire is one of the elements. Hallelujah. So when it comes to life, the Lord said, don't prophesy to the bone which has received flesh because the possible ah, also for the angel has located you we will work out something for you prophetically whatever it is that you are striving for you don't use one solution to attack every problem When Jesus, sorry, when the Lord created man, scripture said he breathed the breath of life. So to us, everybody, body as in Nepadia, needs life to make it what? A living being. Your breath in life determines on your prayer life. As a matter of fact, when I was studying, the Lord said to me, that he doesn't step in situations you constantly discuss with men. Yeah. Hallelujah. So the Lord is expecting you to communicate the situation with him. That he helps you to solve it by commanding you what you should exactly do to get results. But because you've seen that... Pastor Yao is loaded with money. So you feel that. 
as I was praying, I saw one thing too about you. You were in the state and you were organizing a conference with four ministers. I saw so, four ministers. Sonny Badu was one of them. And you were the, the leader of the team. The Lord is saying that within the space of two years, your ministry will hit the borders of the international world. And not just the ministry but the lord is bringing wealth when i say wealth i am talking about the money that in your lifetime what you would not want to hear is telling me this coming watching me no why because the lord is bringing you to a place of wealth where nobody around you will suffer let me continue The angel is prompting me that it's time, but let me finish the message. I'm almost through with the message. We pray, then we can flow. So the Lord said, prophesy to the wind. Every time you are faced with challenges, don't use the past results. What do I mean? I dated the first lady who is used to KFC. So for you, any lady you go out with who is frustrating you, you think KFC is the solution. I said if so your first job you got it because the security man said boss if you can sort me out I'll fix you and you sorted the security man out and he fixed you so you think that moving to another level you need to sort people out for the next level and the Lord is saying that anytime you do that you limit him because you are telling him that he is not capable to give you that position so so for when I was in GTUC one of the things we like we call it Kuntuma coded up we can decode 200 pages of book on our palm we code and we decode Ula. i was going to the head zone so one day and a guy said oh charlie have me high five and the thing everything cleared my palm <laughs> hey hallelujah that is where i understood that you don't address every situation with the same solution I am sorry to say, some counselors think that because you are coming back from a rich home, whenever the woman is misbehaving, put money on the table. It's not true. Money on the table. The only person who made me believe in that thing is Nasha. Hey, Osofo. Bishop, is, I can't say it. But some people here. Eh. <laughs> hey! Bishop, I can't say it. I, mean, I want to come back again, so I can't say it. The first one left because you didn't have money. I don't know if she's here, but I'll say it. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Most of my, okay, so I'm making it neutral most of my relationship didn't work because at a point they felt also you show a there's nothing to show but when i came back from the 40 days that is where i saw the true ones who really loved me but i can't i noticed that beyond money there's something we call the anointing So Reverend Odate, who has been my father for all these years, he always tells me that, Sammy, don't follow money. Seek for the anointing. He said the oil will bring them. And now, by the grace of God, Menwali a bat. Let's continue. So when the Lord spoke to her to prophesy life to the situation, when she prophesied and commanded the wind, the wind brought life 
Because bright is what? Life. So you can't prophesy life with other elements like fire. Fire doesn't bring life. But what you should be mindful is that for this guy's lifetime, his 100% assignment is to make sure that you don't constantly experience breakthrough. So what he does is that then he releases some level of comfort. The Lord said to me that whenever you are comfortable in your uncomfort state, that is the beginning of your downfall. So you are in the room with four or five people, family house. Then you believe the Lord for a single room self contained. Meanwhile, when you were in the house with your family, you used to go to the park and pray every night. But when the Lord gave you the single room where you are alone, now you've changed your prayer life to entertaining friends. You used not to work. And the Lord considered you and linked you up to somebody who can help you get your daily meal. Now you feel that because you are getting your daily meal, you don't take instructions from the person again. That is what? Enjoying comfort in your uncomfortable state. So what will happen to you is that this guy will make you feel comfortable in that state. But thanks be to the Lord. I said thanks be to the Lord who constantly watch over us. Look at the verse 9. She didn't tell the Lord that this guy has resurrected but there's no breath. The Lord saw and the Lord said to her, this time round, prophesy to the wind to bring life. What am I trying to say? The Lord is interested in your continuous growth so far as you commit it to his hands. So my brother, when things get tough, don't seek for solution from shortcuts. Shortcut is temporal enjoyment. And when she prophesied life, before, scripture said when she prophesied, there was a sound. The eight. It said there was a sound. Was seven. Seven. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Uh -huh. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. There was a noise. And suddenly a rattling. I'm coming. And the bones came together. There was a noise. The noise is the results of the prayer she prayed. And seeing improvement, she was comfortable. How did I know? When you read 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 41, scripture said, When Elijah said to the king, Hey, media team, some of the thing is true. <laughs> Elijah prophesied to the king and said what? Get thee up and eat and drink for there is a sound of what? Abundance. But when Elijah heard the sound, Elijah didn't sleep. Look at the next verse. He said, and he went. And Elijah went up to the top of Camel, the top of the mountain. Elijah prayed there until he saw the rain. So you can hear a sound. Ah, also for one demon which is operating now is self-glory when nobody is even noticing you. So you are in the church. Two members. When you stand behind the pulpit, you have to take a picture and update your status like you are doing crusade. When somebody promises you that I am traveling with you, then you start sharing it. Somebody promised to give you a work. You've not started the work. But daily, I, I noticed that when the national service people came to the office, my first day at work. <coughs> Hallelujah. When Elijah heard the sound and he prophesied, he didn't sleep. Don't let your temporal breakthrough stop you from seeking for the permanent ones. Hallelujah. Coming to a conclusion. Scripture said, and when she prophesied, life came to what? The verse 10. Ezekiel 
37. So I prophesied as he commanded me. Uh -huh. And breath came into them. And they lived and stood upon their and feet. And they lived and stood upon, upon their feet. Coming to conclusion, until you see the fullness of where the Lord is taking you, my brother, there is no rest. Sorry for saying this, but sometimes the man can pray and then I ask myself, say, ah, now, Papa, we're there no Jeffrey and me off. Also, for, until I started climbing the mountain, then I understood that, Charlie, the thing, it is a constant fire. Setri said something. One day I was chatting, ah, sorry for mentioning your name, but I have to say, one day I was chatting with him and he was like, bro, Charlie, I they grow weak. And I was like, oh, it is normal. It is part of your spiritual growth. He said to me that it is a deception. Because when you are comfortable in that state, nothing pushes you to seek for a higher power. And by the time you realize, this guy who is on sin, in Ephesians, we learned that we wrestle not against flesh and what? Blood. And it is their constant responsibility not to see you grow. When he said that, I said, wow. I don't see it that way. Because sometimes, Charlie, you can pray and the thing seems not to be working. Probably the Lord is telling that it is not your time. But he said no. It is a deception for you to feel that you are weak. It is normal. So let me be there. Also, I, mean, I want to come back. I want to say something, but I want to come back. I can't say it. Ah, thank you. Bishops, I can say it. If you have been a Christian for more than four years, and you can't pray for headache to be cured, check your Christianity again. You now, when we call for funds, you don't bring the money. You now, you can't perform anything. Ask yourself that what is my responsibility as Christian on earth? One thing which keeps me going, and I thank God I met evangelists, is that when you notice that your assignment is to the world, then you will not be comfortable because somebody invited you and you led opening prayer for 10 minutes. No. Hallelujah. Amen. Prophesy to the winds. That is what we are going to do tonight. Any element of the world holding back what the Lord has for you, as you pray tonight, we are commanding them that say yet the blood, they have to be released. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be on your feet. My message has come to an end. We are going to pray. Then we flow. Give the Lord a clap. Thank you for listening to the message. Visit us on www.harvestinternationalministries.org. Send us an email through office at harvestinternationalministries.org or call us on 0302-222-372 or 0302-229-109. God bless you.